Happy Sunday afternoon, everyone. Uh, Brett Bickle here with you out at Cobble Hills Road. Uh, at this project that we're doing a custom home um, on a farm out here is just about done. And uh, actually, the folks will be moving in on Tuesday. So I'm just going to take you through a quick tour. Um, I'll do an outside tour at some point down the road here, but it's a little mucky today. Front door is all painted, a nice color there. You can see all of our timber framing in here with a nice barn board. Uh, comes into the stone there. Black windows with the uh, James Hardy siding. So, um, yeah, let's head on in where it's a little warmer. All right, so in we go. The front door here. And uh, that front door actually that we just came through is actually an eight foot, full eight foot high. Uh, entry door which is kind of a nice feature there as well it kind of gives a little more grandness to the front entry door um, this is an office just in through here uh, so just a good size office here it'll be a desk and whatnot um, and we just to add a little accent at the front of the house here uh, we did a custom built um, sliding barn door there and it's been stained in uh, to match the railings which are on the other side of the front door there as well and uh, the railings sort of have some some similar tones to the floor so everything ties together nice just some black metal spindles on the railing there so yeah turned out really nice um, and then we'll head into the living so as usual open concept you know kitchen dining room living room um, each individual room has some focal points also of note here uh, this is a cathedral ceiling through the living room and it goes right all the way back through that back porch and through the front porch behind me so um, shown this a couple times on some Instagram stories but now that it's all clean and complete um, it's looking really nice. So fireplace detail we did here with some flanking cabinets and floating shelves um, Some nice stonework around it. Just a pretty simple gas fireplace unit there um, The real showstopper is the surround obviously in this case and then as we mentioned before this is your uh, uh, barn beam that we put in there um, Which was from the original barn on the property. So it's just kind of a nice touch there. And then just here towards the back, there is a covered porch there. Again, I'll show the exterior uh, tour here at a later date, but of note here, this is a 12 foot opening with two operating sliding doors in the middle there, which is a really nice uh, feature. Gives lots of natural light to the space and keeps everything open and airy. And then lots of natural light as well. Uh, another sliding door going to that porch off of the dining room. Um, and a couple other windows there which give us lots of natural light in the space and then a bit of a showstopper kitchen here beautiful kitchen um, actually it's a similar X pattern uh, island to that in our model home in St. Mary's uh, just a different color and then obviously everything was custom designed floating shelves match in uh, with the fireplace as well uh, we did a nice herringbone backsplash here as well, quartz countertops, um, there's a wall oven back in there, and uh, we'll take a tour through there as well. Um, yeah, so it turned out great. It's uh, exciting to see it all unveiled after quite a few months of construction here. There you can see that nice herringbone backsplash there, and there's in behind the stove. So. Turned out really nice. And then this comes into the uh, butler's pantry here. Uh, so this would be the area where toaster, coffee maker, et cetera, et cetera, uh, prep area here so that all the clutter stays in one room and not in the beautiful kitchen where all the guests are, I suppose. And uh, again, more floating shelves, more down lighting, lots of down lighting throughout this house. Um, and then this comes through and to our right here, we've got a motion sensor light and that goes into the pantry so all your dry goods canned goods um, what have you as far as storage goes in there and then come through here this is the mud room so this door here goes to the garage nice double garage on this house and then the mud room comes through here and we just did a very simple um, but effective shiplap detail here with some hooks 
um, a bench where you can sit down put your boots on it's got again got lots of natural light the house you see through this door or sorry through this window is coming down at some point um, when they move from that house to this house so and then you carry on through here um, again keeping the symmetry with the ship lap on this side and um, and then there's just a little powder room here waiting to hang a mirror still but a little powder room here for guests and whatnot and then we wrap right back around to where we started um, into the living room again and there's again your railings etc etc um, so yeah turned out really good and the traffic flow is really efficient use of space as well because you can get all the way around um, that whole side of the house um, which is kind of nice too so coming through here straight ahead of me is the laundry so there's an entry to the laundry from here this is a coat closet which services the front door um, and then the master bedroom uh, double door here coming into the master bedroom um, some pot lights ceiling fan uh, we did a little uh, another little barn beam detail here there's going to be a tv that sits there and sort of wanted to tie the two rooms together so it's a nice little feature there so again nice barn beam there and then of course this comes through and into the ensuite bathroom which i featured multiple times i'm sure there's going to be lots of professional photos of this bathroom done um, so i won't spend too much time on it today but again separate area for the toilet uh, room there with some natural light coming in natural light coming into the bathtub area tile shower the whole deal my feet are very warm right now because this is an in-floor heat underneath this tile here so um, yeah we'll feature that a little bit more as time goes on but then this comes through to your walk-in closet so lots of nice storage for the walk-in closet even has natural light in the walk-in closet believe it or not and uh, and then speaking of traffic flow through a house this is really nice it wraps around and into the laundry room so you don't have to even really worry about leaving your own little space on this wing of the house uh, with laundry um, you could come and bring your laundry right in uh, from the walk-in closet which is behind us or there's a door that goes into the main area as well uh, so pretty simple uh, laundry room right now just a sink that we installed for the customer here and uh, what do you know washer and dryer so this brings us back to the main area here and um, that concludes uh, our main floor tour hope you enjoyed it guys have a great day